Now, at any given time, you could have one million of these on the side of a house. A million of them? Yes. Two million and a quarter times. And was your, your husband, was, was he an Irish speaker? No, not <coughs> himself. His parents said Irish. They were Irish in that locality, but not, yeah, himself, not you, that. How did you go courting? I mean, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you probably had a couple of words. I'd say you had a couple of words, all right. Yes, 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 I can imagine what they were. I suppose you put them together. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. Well, the population changes would have gone down in some areas up to 90% in some of the small towns. 90%? 90%, yeah, they've just all gone, you know. And, and uh, you know, after, after the family. You know? Mixed your share of cement and carried your share of blocks? We sure did. We did brick lane, carpentry. We even did the thatching with John Joe over there. <laughs> so he's taking the bows, but you were the one who was up there. <laughs> you were up there with the legged tapping in the, tapping in the, the thatch. Many times. Now that is spectacular. And that is the, you learnt that with with the ICA? No, I didn't. You didn't? No. Oh, tell me more. Um, in a book I saw it, and I uh, made it from the book. Oh, I thought this was the sort of thing that the ICA got up to every day. Well, I was week. always able to crochet and dressmaking and hand so on. I inherited that from my grandmother. We used to go around uh, with the mummers then, uh, on St. Stephen's Day on bicycles. We travel a good part of the country. Mummers on wheels. <laughs> mummers on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd end up in the local pubs. <laughs> <laughs>